Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at setting up our Mac to code C-sharp applications, okay? So the first thing you need to do is head to visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash vs forward slash Mac, okay? And then select this download Visual Studio for Mac link here. That will start the download. I'm not going to walk you through that process. It should be pretty self-explanatory really. And once that is installed, you'll have Visual Studio uh, underneath your applications section within the finder. Okay, so open that up. Once that is open, you'll be prompted with the following uh, window here. We're going to create a new project. Okay, so for this uh, project, we're just uh, this video, we're going to be selecting this .NET Core. So give command the .NET Core, select app, and then uh, choose console application. Okay, so just tell you .NET Core. It's basically just an open source. Um, cross-platform and open source.NET framework to develop applications for all um, major operating systems, okay? So it's not just for Windows now, we can develop for Mac, Linux and Windows. Um, so if we come under .NET Core and then we go into the console application, select Next, I'm just going to call that app. It's just going to be a basic Hello World app for now, okay? Just to get, just to get started. And then select the location you want to save the project. So I've decided to choose my desktop and I've got a C-sharp projects folder here. Click create. Okay, that's just loading now. Okay, so you can see here, we have um, a very basic application already set up for us when we create a, um, a new application. So this is basically the namespace which contains all the applications classes and then uh, we have this class program here and then we have this main method okay and this is where the application is going to be executed when it's run. Okay so this is you can see this is just a very simple application this main method is just executing this um, uh, console.write line method here okay so this is just going to basically write text to the terminal and that text is going to be hello world okay. So if you want to run that within Visual Studio, just pre uh, click this play button up here. You can see it's building the hello world, build successful, and then we'll get our terminal open and it will say hello world. Press any key to continue and we can shut that down, okay? Now, if you want to run this from the actual Mac terminal itself, let's open up terminal. Uh, I'm going to CD to my desktop. CD into my C sharp projects folder. Okay, clear that. Doing it as you can see, our Hello World app is there now. So we'll CD into that. And then CD into Hello World again. <clears throat> and then if we do an LS, you can see we have our program.c sharp, which is this file we're writing in now. And then we also have this bin folder. This is where our application is stored. Okay, so we CD into bin ls and then cd into debug and then we cd finally into this net core at 3.1 folder do an ls and you can see we have our hello world.dll file here okay so in order to run this from the terminal directly we're going to use the .net command okay so what this is if you just type .net into a terminal this is the generic driver for the .NET Core CLI, the command line interface. And what you can do with this, it can run .NET Core applications, okay? So if you specify the path to the application DLL file to run the application, it will run in the terminal. So if we come to the terminal again, say .NET, and we're just going to say hello world.dll. You can see we get our hello world printed to the uh, terminal there. Okay, if we come out of this, there's another way to do this as well just to show you, so cd out of the debug folder. You can see we have our program.cs, okay? So that's the file we're writing in, in the Visual Studio editor. So if we do the following command, okay? So we're gonna clear this out, we'll do cs for C-sharp and then C, compiler, and then we're going to say program.cs, okay? And then what this will do is this will create an exe file. So if you do another ls, you can see we have this program.exe file. And you can usually, you would usually only be able to run this on a Windows system, an executable program, okay? 
um, but um, we have also have this mono installed when we download Visual Studio. And what this is, it's just an open source uh, software platform which allows us to run these executable files on a Mac on a Mac system. Okay, so if we do um, mono and then program.exe, you can now see we get a hello world displayed in the console there as well. Okay, so that sums up this video, guys. It's just a very short introduction to setting up Visual Studio and just uh, running a basic C sharp. Um, console application in the terminal. Uh, we're going to be looking into C Sharp a lot um, in future videos, so stick around if you, and subscribe if you want to see more. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Cheers.